Welcome to the World of Night Court, a classic TV series that keeps you laughing, shocked, and maybe even shedding a tear. Remember that classic Hollywood actor? Yeah, the one who had you in splits every episode. Who was your favorite? Night Court takes you on a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad moments. Ever had a moment with a series that's etched in your memory? Share it with us. Stay tuned because there are more hilarious, surprising, and heartwarming facts coming your way. Wondering about others' cherished memories? We'd love to hear yours. Drop your stories and experiences in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane and share your night court nostalgia. What's your tale? Let us know. Night Court, the 1984 TV series, left an indelible mark on popular culture, blending humor, shock, and a touch of poignancy that resonated with audiences of its time. The show, led by a classic Hollywood actor whose comedic prowess stole the spotlight in every episode, garnered a reception that transcended mere viewership. During its heyday, it became a cultural phenomenon, captivating audiences with its multifaceted narrative that oscillated between laughter and poignant moments. The ensemble cast, anchored by the charismatic lead, brought a versatile and captivating dynamic to the courtroom setting, making it a compelling watch for a diverse audience. The impact went beyond the confines of the small screen. Spin-offs emerged, exploring various facets of the universe and offering fans new perspectives on beloved characters. This expansion into different narrative landscapes showcased the enduring appeal and associated merchandise became sought after collectibles, a testament to its cultural significance. Fans eagerly embraced products that allowed them to carry a piece of nostalgia into their daily lives. The presence of such items highlighted the show's ability to connect with its audience on a personal level. Adaptations inspired by the success further solidified its legacy. The influence reverberated through the entertainment industry, inspiring new productions that sought to capture the magic of its unique blend of humor and heart. In retrospect, its impact on popular culture is undeniable. Its influence extended far beyond the realm of traditional television, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to be celebrated by fans old and new. As audiences reminisce about their cherished moments with the series, the laughter, shock, and occasional tears serve as a testament to its lasting resonance. Lifting the curtain on the behind-the-scenes tales of the 1984 TV series Night Court reveals a treasure trove of captivating anecdotes. Imagine the charismatic lead actor whose comedic genius left audiences in stitches, bringing an unparalleled energy to the set. His on-screen charisma seamlessly translated into off-screen camaraderie with the ensemble cast, creating a vibrant atmosphere behind the camera. One intriguing aspect was the unexpected burst of laughter during serious courtroom scenes. The actors, caught up in the contagious humor of the moment, often found themselves struggling to maintain composure. These unplanned bloopers became cherished memories, showcasing the genuine camaraderie that fueled the show's success. Behind the scenes, the creative minds navigated the challenge of blending shock, humor, and heart seamlessly. The writers, with their knack for crafting compelling narratives, engaged in lively discussions with the cast, refining each script to perfection. The dynamic synergy between actors and the creative team shaped the show's unique tapestry of emotions. Interestingly, the courtroom set, while bustling with professionalism during filming, occasionally witnessed spontaneous outbursts of impromptu performances. Cast members would break into off-the-cuff sketches, adding an extra layer of entertainment for those present on set. These unscripted moments created an atmosphere where creativity thrived, contributing to the show's enduring appeal. The impact of Night Court extended beyond the confines of the small screen, inspiring a wave of merchandise that allowed fans to carry a piece of the show's magic into their everyday lives. From mugs to t-shirts, fans cherished these tangible connections to their favorite characters and moments. In the world of television, Night Court wasn't just a show, it became a cultural touchstone. Its influence stretched into spin-offs and adaptations, each exploring a unique facet of the Night Court universe. This ripple effect showcased the profound impact of the series on the entertainment landscape, leaving an indelible mark that resonates with fans even today. As we delve into the behind-the-scenes stories, it's evident that Night Court wasn't just a show. It was a shared journey of laughter, surprises, and the occasional heartfelt moment. These stories offer a glimpse into the camaraderie and creativity that brought the series to life, shaping its legacy in the annals of television history. In 
In its initial season, Karen Austin assumed the role of court clerk Lana Wagner for the first 10 episodes in 1984. Intended as a romantic foil for characters Harry Stone and Dan Fielding, Austin's performance was impacted by Bell's palsy, leading to her departure after episode 10. Although credited, guest stars filled the clerk role for the final three episodes. Charles Robinson joined in season two as Mac Robinson, the new court clerk, continuing until 1992. The public defender role, initially played by Ellen Foley and later Marky Post, evolved into the romantic counterpart for Harry Stone and Dan Fielding. Reinhold Weege, the series creator, shared on the season one DVD commentary that many of the show's hookers and pimps were named after his friends, serving as a unique form of greeting to them. Following the filming of the last episode, the cast received telegrams instructing them to clear their dressing rooms by Monday or their belongings would be discarded. Amid the ensemble cast of Night Court, the character Bull initially emerged as a towering intellect wrapped in an intimidating physique. However, as his journey unfolded, Bull transformed into a lovable, albeit dim, soul whose mental prowess was confined to trivialities. John Larroquette, recognized with four consecutive Emmy Awards for Best Supporting Actor, opted to step away from consideration. Despite being offered a spin-off centered around his character, Dan Fielding, Larroquette declined both, showcasing a preference for a different direction in his career. Bull Shannon, the endearing bailiff, carried the full name Aristotle Nostradamus Shannon, adding a touch of quirkiness to his persona. Richard Maul's distinctive bald look, initially adopted for his role in Metalstorm, the destruction of Jared Sin, caught the producer's attention during his audition for Bull Shannon. Impressed, they insisted he maintained the look for the entirety of his portrayal. John Larroquette, portraying Dan Fielding, earned the nickname ever ready for his character's promiscuous tendencies, notably making a broom closet his personal retreat. In real life, Larroquette has been married to Elizabeth Ann Cookson since 1975, providing a sharp contrast to his on-screen persona. Brent Spiner, famed for his role as Lieutenant Commander Data in Star Trek, the next generation appeared in Night Court as Bob Wheeler, the head of a peculiar hillbilly family. The series cleverly wove in other Star Trek references, including a courtroom clash between Trekkies debating the superiority of the original series versus the next generation. Notably, John Larroquette himself portrayed a Klingon in Star Trek III The Search for Spock. The show's initial court clerk, Karen Austin, played Lana Wagner, encountering challenges due to Bell's palsy, leading to her departure after 10 episodes. Charles Robinson later assumed the role of Mac Robinson, serving as the court clerk until 1992. Reinhold Weege, the series creator, revealed a unique quirk many of the show's fictional hookers and pimps were named after his friends, offering an unconventional nod to them. As Bull Shannon's character evolved from a towering intellect to a lovable, albeit dim, bailiff, John Larroquette, recognized with four consecutive Emmy Awards, declined a spin-off centered around Dan Fielding. Bull's full name, Aristotle Nostradamus Shannon, added an eccentric touch to his endearing persona.